Hi there, and welcome to TechPlower. Wait a minute, why is my car white? I have a blue Model 3. No, I'm just kidding. My blue Model 3 2021 model is going through some uh, maintenance. I had some issues when I got my car delivered, so I pointed those things out for Tesla and they are currently repairing it. So this white Model 3 standard range 2020 version is a loaner from Tesla. So what I wanted to do is to check out the differences between my car and this one. This is a China-made model. I don't know if that makes any difference, but we'll see. So let's check out the exterior of the car first. So if you look at the exterior of the car, we of course see that this is a white car, but not the blue one that I have. That's of course a big difference. But the first difference we can spot is that this one does not have the chrome delete. So it doesn't have the black trim on the cameras and on the mirrors and around the windows as well as on the door handles. That's all black on my Model 3 2021 model. Um, all the things on the outside, I think it's basically the same. But let's check the trunk. Oh yeah, it doesn't have a powered lift gate. I have to do it manually. And it's quite heavy. So that's one difference. There is no button here to close it as on my 2021 model. So I just have to do it manually. So the last thing I can remember for the exterior of the car is the aero wheels. They're a little bit different on this one than on my 2021 model. Yeah, I know the car is a little bit dirty. It's a loner. I'm not gonna wash it myself. I'm gonna return it in a few days. So I think that's the exterior differences between these cars. So let's go inside and see what differences we can spot on the interior. So of course the first difference I can see with this car is that this car has the white interior. So it has the white seats, my Model 3 has the black interior. So of course all the seats are white in the back as well. And we also have the white trim on the dashboard as well as the white trim on the doors. And even though this is a China-made Model 3, it doesn't have the new door trim here. So this means that this one was probably made... I know it was made in 2020, so it was probably made early 2020. Because the trim here, if I remember correctly, came late 2020 from the China factory. So we of course have chrome on the Model 3 badge here. And let's get inside. So first looking at the doors, uh, we can see that we have the glossy finish on this car, but in the 2021 model this one is matte. So this is much more fingerprinty. And also for the 2021 model we have the door open button with a new icon. Here we only have a line. So it's more obvious that that is a door open button. Going over to the steering wheel, on the 2021 model, these buttons are some kind of metal, but here they are simply plastic. It's fine by me, but probably the metal ones will last longer. Otherwise, the steering wheel is the same, and the screen is the same. But going down here to the center console, we can see a huge difference. We have this glossy finish and these two covers. And under here in this model, we have the wireless charging pad, which wasn't there in the first models. It was in, in later models. But in the 2021 model, this is just open and it has Alcantara, I think, on the wireless charging pad and no lid to close it. And also here, 
we have this kind of lid that opens like this. Sometimes this has problems closing. And also this piano black. In the 2021 model we have a sliding lid in, in matte grey. And also on the sides on the 2021 model we have uh, white stitching like we have here on the handrest. And one difference that I noticed that I didn't know had changed is that this car from 2020 has the SOS button and the hazard light button but in my car the 2021 model only has the hazard light button. The SOS button has been moved to the screen. Uh, if I remember correctly we have an SOS button somewhere here. So that's a change as well. There's one more difference in the center console. If you open it up here. In the 2021 model we have two USB-C situated here which are not here in this one. And this light is a little bit further in in the 2021 model. But if we open up this lid like this and we can actually move this one up as well we can see that down here it's a little bit dark there we have two USB-A ports. So that has been changed to USB-C. So let's close this again. In the 2021 model we have an extra USB, it's actually a USB-A, in the glove box where we also get a complementary USB stick that is used for the dash cam and the sentry mode camera. That's actually really good because you can close the glove box of course but you can also set a pin number to the glove box so no one can open it unless they know the pin. So then the USB or any hard drive or USB stick you have there for sentry mode is safe. That's really good. I think we covered all the differences in the front of the car. Let's go in the rear and see if we've spotted any differences there. So we're in the rear now and we can spot the same difference as in the front. We have the glossy finish on the panels here on the buttons and we only have the line icon on the door opening button and that's one that one is also glossy. Uh, the other difference is, wait, we actually have USB-C here, like we have in the 2021 model. So in the China model, produced sometime in 2020, it actually has USB-C here. So maybe in the front there, we might actually have USB-C ports instead of USB-A ports. But that's something that was only in the China model at the beginning. So since this is the standard range, uh, we should have less speakers activated. But I actually think that all the speaker grills are present, but we don't have any speakers behind some of them. One thing I forgot to check on the exterior is the frunk. There might be some changes there. Let's check it out. It seems like this version does not have the heat pump. So the frunk is actually a little bit bigger than on mine and it doesn't have the lines in the bottom as on the 2021 model but it doesn't have the hooks that the previous models had. So there are little minor differences but it's a little bit bigger the compartment as I said but it's a minor difference. So let's see if this model has difficulties closing the front. I know I'm just using one hand here. Oh, this actually worked pretty well. So these are all the differences that I can remember between this 2020 China-made Model 3 standard range compared to my 2021 Model 3 metallic blue long-range version. So just let me know in the comments if there are some changes that I forgot, I might have. So just let me know and I'm not sure I will make another video on it because I have this car for a very, very limited time. So just let me know. I really hope you like this. It's cool to see the differences and how Tesla has improved their cars. 
So stay tuned for more Tesla videos. And I really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. It both helps my channel grow, and if you also click the bell icon, you will always get notified when I publish new videos. See you in my next video.